Hi everybody, I'm Renee from Wanna Scrap, and in today's video I'm going to share with you how I put together these adorable little uh, directional signpost embellishments for a, like a Santa Claus village. So you're just going to need some simple items around the house. I do have red and green paint there on my palette, but I was working on another project, so um, but I will be using red and white for um, for my signpost, but obviously you can choose any color you want. So right now I'm just cutting down um, three popsicle sticks because I'm just going to make three and um, the other three popsicle sticks I'm going to cut in such a way that they're going to be my direction to which way Santa's village is or what have you. And then you're just going to want to sand down the rough edges and uh, make sure there's no sharp edges or splinters along the way. And next, when you're done, finish that, you're going to start uh, painting it. And I ended up giving my signposts each a couple of coats. I didn't prime it or use chalk paint or anything underneath it, so it was straight on wood. So it did need a couple of coats, and I needed the time to allow them to dry in between. So I'm just going ahead and painting the ones I want red, and <clears throat> the other ones I paint white. And once you're done painting them and they're all dried, you just want to put them in such a way how you want to set them up. And now I'm going to write where it's pointing to the direction of where you want to go. <laughs> so I'm just making up some things here and uh, just go ahead and write it down and uh, use your neatest printing if you can. <laughs> So I had no idea what I was going to write on these, so I was just really winging it, so. But I did get them all finished, so. And next we will be gluing them together. Or no, I think we will be putting on the snow text. Yes, that's what we'll be doing. Because I want all these to dry first, and it is a little bit hard to get the snow text on. You just kind of, I find, got to push it on there. And one little tip, if your snow text has dried out like mine had, I just used a spray bottle with water and kept stirring it with a popsicle stick till I got it to uh, back to a soft fluffiness that I could use it again. So if yours is dried out, don't worry, it can still come back to life. <laughs> And so I'm going ahead and putting on the snow, and I think this really added an extra touch of um, interest to it. I love how these turned out. And I'm just putting some snow on the top of the signpost here. I did end up cutting them all to a point. Uh, at the beginning, I just cut them straight across, but I decided to cut them on a point. And you do have to let this stuff dry, so I let it all dry before I started gluing everything down. <clears throat> and now that it is dry, here comes the glue. And I put it near the top as possible, close as possible, because I do want to put an embellishment that I had bought. In. However, I altered it, which I will link that video down below. And you can see how I altered them. And uh, I thought it just give, gave it a little bit more depth and a little bit more interest. So now that that's all glued on, I'm just grabbing my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue our cute little embellishments onto the signposts. I would love to do these in like a um, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas kind of theme. Kind of more whimsical. I think that would be awesome too. But I've been seeming to do a candy cane slash kind of gingerbread theme throughout my crafting. So I went with the red and white. <laughs> and we got that adorable little deer holding the present. And the last one. And you can use stickers or what have you, like anything you got. <laughs> All the ideas came out so cute. And just to give it that extra added touch, I just put some snow down where they would be walking and on the snowman's bottom. 
and a little bit on their boots. <laughs> These came out so cute. I just love them. And we're almost done. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. I have so much fun creating these videos and I hope to inspire you and to encourage you to go through your stash and uh, see what you can come up with. Anyways, everybody have a great day. Bye for now.